Hi everyone, I'm Nano Kitty Chan and today we're gonna have a look at the 1-7 scale Magical Girl Chino by Stronger. So obviously we're going to have a look at the massive box she came in that had a pretty incredible customs fee on it, might I add. But nonetheless, she came in this adorably huge blue sparkly box with a picture of her in the corner, a big circular window on the front shaped like a transformation circle that allows you to see some of the figure inside, and I just love how they spelled out her name on the front, incorporating rabbits into the font. The top and sides of the box are much like the front, and again, the back gives us a few extra pictures of her close up. So without any more delay, literally, let's get into this box. So first off, she comes with a couple extra accessories including Unko, which is the black rabbit with the crown on his head, and he is the mascot from the Amausa Inn restaurant in the series. She also comes with Wild Geese, which is Shero's pet rabbit from Season 2, and they both come with their own stands, so if you'd rather place them beside Chino, you can. As well, she comes with an attachable spoon accessory that happens to look very magical in its own way, with a little blue gem at the base, a wing on the side, and repping her own cafe, it does have the Rabbit House logo printed on the back of it. Finally, for the base of this figure, they decided to design a special transformation circle with Chino in mind. As you can see, it's a very cute yellow and blue circle of stars surrounding a silhouette of a rabbit, and rightfully so, the text reads, Is the Order a Magical Girl? Now for the figure herself, she is absolutely precious and perfection. I love how creative they were with the magical themed design taking elements from her outfit in the show and implementing them into her Magical Girl outfit, aka the black detailing, the blue bows, and her shoes as well. I really do love how they made Tippy into her hat though, instead of just placing him on her head. As I've said in past reviews, flowy figures are pretty much kryptonite for me, so I adore the way her hair is sculpted into spiraling twin tails, as well as the way her waist and back bows splay out from her body. Her composition on the stand is very unique to other figures that I have in my collection, as it looks like she's just jumped into the air for a transformation sequence. Hence her legs being splayed, slightly turned neck bow, and her hand holding on to Tippy. For her color, she is kept to a blue and white color scheme and it seems that they decided to use a pink undertone for shading, which is something I haven't seen before, so I'm glad it's not overly noticeable in the grand scheme of the figure. Overall, I think she has a perfect amount of detailing that really shows through in her sparkly blue eyes, intrinsic hair sculpt, right down to all the little bows throughout her dress, and I am so happy to report that I haven't found any paint errors or bleeds, and she is exactly how I'd imagine she'd be. I'm so glad they made her a 1-7 scale as well, as it makes her look more extravagant as a figure. I would definitely recommend this figure not just for Chino fans, but as an adorable, gorgeous figure for anyone's collection. She was definitely worth the wait and the price point, considering how big she is. She is more than fair in comparison to other figures in the same market. So that is all for my Magical Chino figure review. Let me know if you picked up this gorgeous figure as well. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to follow me on a more regular basis, I do have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same name here. Otherwise, don't forget to smile and I'll see you next time.